Oh, wait a minute. I almost forgot. There is a whole petition to boycott Bravo. Why y'all didn't remind me that? Why didn't y'all remind me of that? We talked about Nene Leakes and her situation of how she was saying that uh, Bravo, that Bravo uh, was uh, 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 unfairly treating a lot of the women, especially women of color. Um, they are, you know, it was kind of like systemic within the organization, how, you know, they treated uh, a lot of the Caucasian women a lot more uh, lenient than they did women of color, i.e. Nini, in, in addition to Mariah Huck on Married to Medicine. Um, there was also a, a discussion about that where Mariah says she feels left out of the show that she created. And they've also created other franchises with the one show idea that she created and she got no uh, credit or has been involved in that. Now, Mariah has gone on to say that, you know, other stars like Lisa B Vanderpump and the other young lady who created uh, Southern Charm, you know, even though they're not, you know, directly on the show, some of them, they actually have a role in, in, in the show. So now, you know, that is another issue. Hold on. What did you say? Please unsubscribe to Bravo and unfollow them on Twitter. Okay, Cassie Pink. Thank you so much for saying that. We about to read this. We about to read this uh, change.org boycott. So the petition, which was started by Jinx, Rich Bitch, and Alaka TV, who are also known to be members of the squad and in the chat. I hope they're in here today because I would love for them to call in and talk about it. Now, this particular petition, let's read it for a second brings up a lot of the things that we were discussing um the other day now let's see how many what's going on with it hold on hold on let me see i already said okay we are they up to 2091 people okay uh so that is hashtag boycott bravo they're calling out bravo tv and nbc universal uh, they say this petition is putting Bravo TV on notice that fans of the show Real Housewives of Atlanta and Married to Medicine hold them accountable for their dirty deeds, particularly as it relates to the unfair and biased treatment they have displayed towards their African-American talent, more specifically NeNe Leakes and Mariah Huck. Both ladies have been greatly disrespected, underappreciated, and devalued right before our eyes while this network has several african-american talents it is these two who have played significant and pivotal roles in the network's ongoing success in the case of mariah huck she is the only african-american female show creator executive producer and lead cast member while this is a historical step even this would not have come to fruition but for the contributions of Nene Leaks within this network. Okay, you better, y'all better give Nene some credit. Nene has cleared a path for reality stars to segue into the acting world and having actors and musicians flock to the reality world. So much so, a network executive has stepped down to become talent on a show that was also a creative contribution from Nene Leaks. Nene has given so much to this network only to be devalued when it comes to other opportunities within the network in comparison to non-Black talent, such as show development opportunities, spinoffs, creative control, and executive producing options. We have witnessed her sacrifice her physical health, have her mental health jeopardized, and her spiritual well-being tested. It is also evident that your disciplinary actions are far more stringent when it comes to your Black talent. That is not acceptable and needs to be more balanced. Woo! This action by Bravo Network is affirmation of systemic racism and inequality that the African-American community faces and struggles with currently in society, which Nene, as an African-American woman, is advocating to change. Bravo, we the fans are aware of our power and how a lack of our viewership would be a detriment to the future success of said network. 
fans, we ask that you sign this petition and stand in support of equality for Nene and Mariah, as well as all African-American talent on this network. Now, let me see if I could. Can I share this? I'll give y'all this link. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here is. Let me put this link in here for y'all. Here is the link. Y'all sign the petition. Sign the petition. Uh, if you're in here and you support Nene Leaks, we want you to sign the petition. Hold on. Why it won't come up? Why I can't get this link up? Hold on. NBC Universal. Hold on. This is. Let me see. Okay, click that link. Let me know if y'all can access that. Is that Team Nene? Yes. It's change.org boycott bravo. Change that you signed it. Okay, thank you. You signed it. Thank you. You signed it. Okay, great. Great, great, great. So if y'all want to uh uh sign the petition, it's change.org boycott bravo tv NBC universal and shout out to the people who put this together jinx rich bitch and alaka they did a wonderful job of putting this together y'all you know y'all talked about it the other day when we were talking about the receipts that nini dropped it was like we need to sign something we need to stand up for her and so y'all need to put y'all look y'all sign look y'all don't have to contribute i think it asked you for seven dollars or whatever you don't have to contribute anything just sign the petition use your real name and your email and we appreciate that so that you can so that we can show that there is you know power in numbers thank you so much there's alaka alaka come on in i just put the link in the chat if you want to talk about you know your inspiration behind signing this i would love 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 to hear it look at everybody team nini team nini numbers going up numbers going up Okay, you signed it already. Okay, we need some more people to sign it. It's 1,585 people in here. We could get it up to at least 1,000 more people in um, on the damn uh, petition. At least 1,000 more people on the petition. Okay, you coming in? Okay, great. So uh, would you do the same for Cynthia, Kenya, and Candy? If Cynthia, Kenya, and Candy were faced with the same opposition, of course I would. I have no problem with that. But right now, they're not. They're not. So there's that. <laughs> um, hold on, hold on. Let me see what y'all doing. You already signed. You signed. Great, great, great. I see them numbers going up. I see them numbers going up. Let me make it bigger. Okay, it's going up. We need to get to twenty five hundred before the end of this stream. Uh, you said you signed it already. Okay, great, great. Everybody sign it. Everybody sign it. Everybody sign it. Beverly said, I ain't gonna sign it. That's okay. Everybody don't have to sign it. Everybody don't have to sign it. The link to the petition, I just put it in the chat. Uh, go to change.org, type, type in boycott Bravo. It should come up. If not, here is the link. I just put it in the chat. Hold on, y'all. I want to hear from, I want to hear from the people on who, Alaka. Hey Michelle, how hey, are you? Welcome, welcome. I love the top, it's really cute. Thank you. How are you doing? Good, how are you doing today? Not too bad, just a bit, feeling a little bit lethargic today. It's been really hot, like way too hot. It was, it was too hot here too. I had to come home, yeah, take a shower, yeah. change clothes, I've been riding around. Right, <laughs> right. Oh, I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not a friend of like hot weather, to be honest. It just, oh, just makes me feel awful. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, so you wanted us to kind of chime in in regards to the petition, right? Yeah. I mean, like for me personally, I have always been like for wanting some kind of a petition to be done um, against Bravo. And so I think someone asked and said that um, if it was uh, Kenya or Cynthia, would the same have been done for them? Here's the thing. I know that we used um, uh, uh, Nini and Mariah as examples, but that is for valid reasons. But the whole petition is to help safeguard every single African-American African and Black woman 
that is under the Bravo and Universal and NBC network. Mm -hmm. That's what it's technically all about. And it's unfortunate we, can, we couldn't get like a lot more details into the petition because of the fact that it's got like a word limit. Mm -hmm. But like there's so, there's so much information that I was able to kind of dig up when I did like further research, you know, in terms of the numbers. Um, I don't know if a lot of people are aware that um, the for example which is also under the same umbrella the keeping up with the kardashians mm -hmm. it gets literally about half the viewership than the real houses of atlanta oh wow half the viewership and yet they signed a five season deal for 150 million dollars so that's basically if if Chris Jenner, their mom, right? There's six of them total in the cast, okay. right? But if Chris is only taking her 10% or whatever from her daughters, which means that removes her from being a cast member, which means every single cast member per season gets approximately 6 million, which is almost three times as much as every, as the highest paid housewife. Oh, wow. You know, there's that, that alone. You know, it's like mind boggling. It's like, how is this even possible that they are bringing way less viewers, which means they, they're advertising that NBC Universal make from Real Houses of Atlanta is way more than what they make from the keeping up with the Kardashian people. So how is it that you're not gonna be giving these women because they're black, their fair dues? It mm -hmm. makes no sense to me. And the reason why we use Nini and Mariah is because, well, first of all, without Nini, right, Kim would not have the privilege of walking out on a show and obtaining her own show, her own spin-off. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not an extra show that happens after the Real Housewives of Atlanta and is marked as Real Housewives of Atlanta episode 25, 26, 27. No, no, no. An actual show with season after season. It lasted for seven seasons, mm -hmm. seven whole seasons. Right. And right. this has happened continuously with about four other white counterparts who are part of Bravo. They have, um, uh, 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 Lisa Vanderpump has walked out of a show, ended up getting her own show. Um, a lot of others have had actual spin-off shows that have lasted for a number of seasons. And then let's go to the disciplinary side of it. Every single black cast member that has acted in a way that is considered quote unquote unacceptable has been reprimanded in some way, shape or form by Bravo, the network. Mm -hmm. Whereas their white counterparts, we've heard zero about them being disciplined for their bad behavior. We're talking about pulling wigs as well, tossing tables, you know, all kinds of things, which is not dissimilar to what happens in the real houses of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And so if they thought what the black women are doing is not what they should be doing, why air it in the first place then? If it's something that calls for disciplinary, why are you going to air it? So you can actually earn from it, but then discipline the person that you're earning money off of for, for basically putting out that bad behavior. Right, right. Where is the balance in that? So, yeah, I agree. I agree. Talk about the Mariah part, too, as far right, as... Right, the Mariah part. Being the first Black person, basically, to pitch a show, right, that was picked up by Bravo, and it's been syndicated... To another show which basically is uh, is where is it uh is it california or hollywood where are they the other married to medicine women there is another one la, LA. The, LA that's it mm -hmm. you know there's another one and as someone who is actually the the first black person to actually put forward for that why would you just dis, 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 basically um not include her in executive meetings and decision makings why mm -hmm. are you not consulting her in the direction of the show because that's her baby that's mm -hmm. something that she spent time and effort it's not like she just dreamt it overnight right and decided to put it out there she clearly had to go through a lot to pitch it there's a lot that goes through pitching a show P shows don't get picked up just like that it's very mm -hmm. very difficult to mm -hmm. get a show picked up there's so many shows that get picked up on pilot season year after year after year after year and they never make the cut and so the fact that her show and being the only black woman to have made the cut and go for season after season and be very, very successful, almost trailing Real Housewives of Atlanta, I think that speaks volumes. And so for them to uh, uh, not include her in decision-making and basically treat her like she's just like this little cast member that is just trying to uh, fight for fame, I think that is so wrong. And I think it speaks volumes 
as to how they treat the black the the the, the black people that are under the network versus the white ones. Meanwhile, the white ones who have got their own spin-off shows, they're hanky dory doing whatever they want. They can walk out of the show and come back in and out however they please. But that doesn't seem to be the case with Mariah. Hmm. And so that's why we use them as an example because Nini, she spearheaded Rue Houses of Atlanta. And as a result, Mariah was able to actually feel confident enough to say, you know what? Because they did approach her. I don't know. I think we've discussed this before. They did approach her to 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 um to come into Rue Houses of Atlanta, but she rejected it and pitched them a show instead. And they took that. And so mm -hmm. I think they need to give her the respect that she deserves, not just as an individual, but as a black woman. If they're really going to jump on this bandwagon where they want to say that, oh, we are trying to tackle equality, you know, and I've I think I've said this before. Why not talk about the racism that's actually going on in your network? Why you not? Why do you want to give us a show that's talking about the racism that people are facing outside of the show? The same type of racism that we all face, that we all talk about on a daily basis. There's videos and interviews that talk about that kind of racism on a daily basis. So people can easily get educated about that. But what we want to see is them take accountability about them being complicit mm -hmm. in allowing racism to happen right in front of our eyes and their eyes. That's what we want for them. We want them to speak up and come forward and actually say, okay, we do we do understand. Because at the end of the day, and this is why it's important that we do boycott. I know some people might say, I'm not signing this and the other. Regardless of whether you do not like Mariah or whether you do not like Nini, at the end of the day, this is about the bigger picture. It's not about them. It's not about them. We, we have them, yes, they're the perfect example to utilize because the one, they've been also vocal as well. And so we do have to back them to say, you know what, you've been vocal enough and you're willing to stand on your own to fight what's been happening. And if the other ladies are, don't, are not willing, we're going to take the stand and do it for them so that maybe they will learn that you're that's right. not how things should carry on. It, it's, it's just unacceptable. Right. I think it's disgusting that they think they can just jump on the oh, Black Lives Matter a bandwagon and think, OK, so long as we just throw a little show at them and tell them, oh, this is what you have been going through. Oh, my gosh, someone was racist towards you. Oh, my gosh, someone called your hair nappy headed. No, the person you employed is the one that was racist towards me. The person that you employed is the one that's threatening to have me fired because of my color of the skin. They think that they'd have the privilege to threaten, to, to, to make threats that I might not last next season. What? That's what we want to hear. And I'm sure there's loads of people who work behind the scenes as well as in front of the camera that have got loads of stories. But it's up to us, the people who, the viewers, we are the ones who are paying their salaries. We are the ones who are putting money in their pockets. Without us, that network would basically go down. And so we do need to take a stand. If you're really for the survival of the black race and for us being seen and heard, this is what this is about. It's not just about entertainment. It's not just about Nini and Mariah. It's bigger than that. And if you can't get out of your feelings and understand that, then there's a lot more educating that you need to, to get for yourself to know and understand what it means to be a black person and what it means to be belittled and what it means to, to be made to feel invisible. No matter how much you break your back, no matter how much blood, sweat and tears you put into something and they disregard it. And that's what the petition is about. Well, thank you, look, uh, uh, Malcolm Malaka, for, <laughs> for speaking out. Look, this, look, I, you said it so eloquently and so well. I look, I appreciate you, look, everything that y'all yeah. did, and and the the energy that y'all and the work that y'all put into it. You know, look, people should sign it just on that fact. You did your research. It, it's, it's, uh, it's, we did the research. Yeah, if we can have the extensive one available somewhere, we'll try and see if we can find a way so that you can actually see all the numbers. We'll find a way so you can have access to that. But like, there's a lot of detail that we went into, into actually, we didn't want to just put out a petition as though we're throwing our, our toys at the pram, like little kids who are just like venting. It's not about venting. You know, we did a lot of research. We looked at it. We looked at the statements they put out about what they're trying to do about equality and things like that. And so we're trying to call them to task. So, okay, you've said this, then fine. We're going to meet you halfway and let's discuss it, but properly. Mm -hmm. Don't ignore what we have to say. You're right. Yeah. So what are you hoping? What are you hoping to come of this? You know, it, 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 you what know, I'm hoping, all... hoping is that they take a serious stance in basically allowing. I think if people, um, especially the black cast members, if they've been around for a long time, mm -hmm. um, I think they should revive. They should be in a position where they can give them contracts where they have at least first refusal on shows that they pitch. That's one. 
right? Yeah. And then also, we want equal pay. Like that one goes without saying, you know, if we're going to call a spade a spade, there's no two ways about that one. Mm -hmm. The pay has to equate the amount of viewers they bring to the table, not the other way around. Mm -hmm. The Kardashians are getting it because they're white. It's really that simple. And it right. shouldn't be that way. When I saw the numbers up to now, I'm just like, honestly, my jaw dropped. Mm -hmm. The Kardashians are bringing in an average of less than a million. Let's just that sink in. Mm -hmm. Less than a million. Housewives, two point something million on average. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. <sighs> well, Alaka, look, I hope we get some more people to sign this petition, mm -hmm. um, you know, for bring, bringing more awareness to it today. Hold on, I was trying to put it back up. Um, we put the link in the chat. If you have not signed it, go ahead and sign it now. Uh, it, it goes in increments of 500. Like now it's hit 2,000. Now the next goal mm -hmm. is 2,500. The next right. goal will be 3,000 and next goal would be 3,500. So That's go right. ahead and sign it and let's, you know, let's keep this going. Like let them know that, you know, people are serious about this yeah, situation. We are. We, we are. see them and, and for, you know, the things that they're doing. Yeah. We want to see more black faces working behind the scenes because how are you always going to expect a white person to translate what you, what they're filming for you properly to the audience? You know, there's always going to be a, a, a disconnect when it comes to portraying black people. If every single producer, every single director, every single camera person, majority of the time is white. Mm -hmm. So there's all these things we want to see more black faces so that even the cast can feel like they relate to the people they're working with. Not constantly having to explain themselves, not constantly having to have things put on, on, on TV that basically might be in poor taste when it comes to black people. Right. There's, a, there's a huge disconnect because they're not employing a black enough black people. You're right. Well, thank you so much, Elaka, for explaining it to us. And you know, we're gonna keep this going, and we're gonna keep talking about it, and you know, we're gonna keep pushing, pushing on every live stream. We're gonna talk about it. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you so much, Elaka. I appreciate. I'll see you later. All right. Bye. -bye. All right. Bye. Look, if y'all don't sign it simply for the fact that she put in work, y'all need to sign it. That's all, period. Period.